Greetings! It is I, the Great Glenmore, here on this Tuesday evening, which is warm but getting very cold very quickly. <laughs> yes? And hello to you, Derpo. Very tiredly. <laughs> yes. I understand that. I can definitely, definitely relate to that. Very late flight last night, so I am very tired myself. Going to be attempting to get through the alternate ending of Chapter Two from Delta Room, which I guess shouldn't be uh, <laughs> too difficult for one stream. And then, if there's time at the end. I may have downloaded the second Bad Rats game because there's something wrong with me, I guess. Got like five hours of sleep, it feels like you got two. Yes, that is definitely relatable. There's nothing to stop being tired. <laughs> Just like, hello, Manta! We're all talking about how tired we are currently. I wonder if Magic can hear me. Has Magic got the adapter for his headphones? That is the question. I'm gonna type hello in the chat anyway, because I'm going to assume that no, he cannot hear me. After. Finishing the first file last time, which was two weeks ago. Going to continue from where the second file was. All the way back here. Everyone's favorite character. Really busy with school and video editing. <laughs> just still be lazy. <laughs> Can I ask Matt? Because I'm not sure. I don't want to type everything out if he can't hear me. I'm going to assume that he can't because he hasn't mentioned it. Also, Glenn, while you do the alternate route, Whenever a new choice that wasn't in the original, don't choose until you read what I tell you to. Ah, so it's the uh, trial and error approach of games. It's not that complicated, but one wrong choice, you don't have to reload the game from the last save. Yes, it's just one of these games where your choices actually impact something that you do. It's just good to know. Anyways, go backwards, okay? What items I what items do I have? <laughs> what did I have at this point? A lot of burgers. Chris is the annoying one. <laughs> really? <laughs> they put Chris as the annoying one? No, I can't hear you. Yeah, I assume that. <laughs> hey, go fight that enemy. Still want a decent pair of headphones. That is what I assumed, but I wanted to make sure. Can the call actually- oh yeah. Noel doesn't do anything. Well, I guess. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> it's already gone well. <laughs> to the last save. <laughs> oh, this is be fun. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
So you gotta use Noel Ice Shock spell. Okay, I will be more cautious. A lot more cautious than that. <laughs> Manjaro is on the hunt. Ice cream for supper if I kill one. <laughs> Great quote. Noelle is going to be attacking with Ice Shock. Okay. Let's do this. Gonna make another save. Get that third save going. Alright. Attempt number two. Am I enjoying being bossed around my dinner for three hours? Oh, I need him. If Durfo isn't around, I don't think I would ever do this in a million years. Defending with Chris will help you get TP to do the spell. Okay. Let's defend. Never know. Oh, oh, defend is down there. Okay. I don't defend very often. Enjoy being bossed around by me. Well, it's being bossed around by you or never doing this. So, <laughs> I'll take that. Ice shock. Oh. Okay. Ice shock. Showed annoying side Chris was because of the weapon you have equipped. Still, <laughs> that would be a great one for Noel. I wonder where I'm going. This thing? Is this the thing I have to go to? Not the sign, probably. Just keep going backwards, okay. I'll just keep going this way until you say something. Enjoy the music. Getting into fights when you can, okay? Got into that fight. I'm assuming I gotta keep using this. <laughs> it's just an assumption. Keep using the ice shock. Seems to get the battle over with quicker anyway, so. A lot of attack. It's a lot of damage. I'm sure I would have known about that before. Chris, are you sure this is the wrong way? You just keep icing. It's a cool new term that the kids like to say, right? Yeah, just keep icing. We're going to Spamton, is that what we're doing here? Oh, wait, no, that was wrong. <laughs> I just like to take more hits. It's fun. There we go. Another bad guy dead. Continue to kill the population, or freeze them, which I'm assuming just kills them. <laughs> there we go. 
go. Oh, we ran out of room, so I'm assuming we're going up. It's a spam to the door is locked. Chris, well, why did you bring me here? No one's home. No one's around at all. It's it's so creepy. At the same time, it's kind of nostalgic. I want in. Let me in. No, nope, can't go that way. I am assuming that, please. That's all you need to continue on now. Alright. Back to the normal route. Hey, you got a dark candy. From the garbage. Assuming that we head back to the place we were supposed to be. Another person dead. You get into a lot more fights when you come back this way. Wasn't anything here before, just the cars. Now I'm battling a cat. Building up a lot of Noel's strength. Here. I'm assuming that comes into play at some point. We added to strength. Yep, oh, there we are. Back to where we were before. I'm assuming we gotta solve this puzzle like normal. Sorry, Chris, could you deal with that son? Huh. Okay, gotta do something different here, I think. Okay. Maybe you can get more of them. Maybe you can get them in the other mouse hole. Do something different. Keep going on the button, I think. Alright. Chris, if the mice hit a wall, they'll come over here. Try using those blocks to get them into the hole. Oh, we just get to keep annoying Noel? That's fun. Chris! Gosh, you did that on purpose, didn't you? It's like when they swapped my egg. Mayo. Oh, that's just disgusting. I hate eggnog. That's just, that's just disgusting. Why anyone would want to eat that? Yes, keep annoying you. Say something. Okay, no different dialogue. It's the next map room I was thinking of. Okay. Got him to bounce off the wall. <laughs> Better 
Never say I've been sorry, yes. I already proved that earlier from messing it up somehow in the first 10 seconds of the game. But I should have been taking that more cautiously. It looks like that took care of it. Oh, hello! Man who speaks in hands 101. Currently attempting to do the alternate route. Right now. And that's Durpo. Who is making sure that I don't mess it up. <laughs> Cause that, I've already messed it up once somehow. Um... I've already gone back to the other dialogue, now I'm checking my way to the second mouse section. Which I believe is just down below this room. Curiosity intrigues me. Even if I already know it's up there. Ah, thank you for the follow. Man who speaks in hands 101. I do appreciate that. The previous streams that I did are done. I completed the first chapter while also doing the secret boss, and have completed chapter 2 just before this in the last stream. I'm going through all of the extra bits in this stream before I move on from Delta Room to probably do Mother 3 next. Or continue. I'll play a little bit of Mother 3 before Delta Room. Last time I deal with Noel's attacks of just 17 points. The whole time I could have been using this. Could have actually made Noel uh, useful. I'm just being a weight. Occasionally take some hits. Yeah, and then you gotta interact. 
the Ferris wheel sign in this room and select I will ride with you. Okay. Gosh, that's amazing. Makes the one at the festival look like a toy. I, I wonder if Susie would want to. Uh, who am I kidding? It's a fair chance that isn't actually required, but it might be. Well, better be safe than sorry. Oh. So you can shake it when they reach the top? It's like at the festival. With kids. I know there's a catch with you, Chris. No thanks. Is there one specific one that I have to answer on this one? <laughs> or does it not matter? I haven't saved in a while. Okay. Huh? I mean, sure. If you uh, really want to, you can uh, make up for when we were kids. Since when did Chris get so... No way. It's gotta be some kind of prank. To the floppy disk. Oh. All right, continuing on. Uh -huh, and two young beings together on a school night. Could I interest you in some brand new dating shoes? Uh -huh, no, no. You got it totally wrong. Chris and I are just uh, friends. been my neighbor forever. We've been through so much. Sometimes it feels like we know each other better than anyone. Yet somehow it's hard to say we're exactly friends. Okay. I've talked to whatever the heck that is. What does that mean? There's no good or... That's for sure. Here's something else. Maybe a dating shoot isn't right. Maybe I could interest you in a freeze ring. Huh? A ring? <laughs> Sorry, I don't think we need something like that. Come on, Angel. Can't get stronger without good equipment. Stronger? R right. I guess that's how it works here. <laughs> Chris buying me a ring. Yeah, right. I'm assuming it's we're getting the ring. Yeah, that's what I assumed. I'm following the pattern. Uh, huh? Chris, you'd buy it for me? Sure, I guess. Could ask about it. How much does it cost? Just a small fee of exactly one dollar over what I currently have. Interesting. Huh? Sorry, we don't have that much money. So it would be nice. Was nice of Chris to offer. I'm assuming it's getting it again. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm assuming. Huh? Me? You are asking me to get it? Chris, come on, you know we can't afford that. I'm assuming it's get it again. <laughs> Going for three in a row, I'm assuming. The obvious option, yes. Well, what? Chris, I just told you we don't have the money. What? What are you asking me to do? You aren't asking me to just... The obvious option again, I'm assuming. <laughs> Chris, no, I... Not me, I could never. The obvious option again, I'm assuming. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep hitting this one until you tell me otherwise. Beforehand, I... The freeze ring. Cool. What, what just happened? Did I actually just... No. 
must have given it to us. The ring. Besides, it's good to be stronger, isn't it? Thanks, Chris. I'm equipping that because I took all my cash. This is going to be very bossy towards Noel. It appears that way. This better be amazing. Actually, this is pretty good. Quit that. There we go. I checked again, there's still nothing there. Now we continue down. When you step off the switch, the lightning comes back. How about I hold it down, you go across. Am I allowed to hit Noel with the lightning or is that going to do something again? <laughs> Nice teamwork. Or is that later? Yeah, I guess that's later. Maybe. Yeah, that's later. See, Noel, nothing bad is going to happen. Getting that ring was good, wasn't it? So, stop thinking about it. Stop thinking about stepping off the switch and letting Chris get. Well, no. Don't think that. That's horrible. That's horrible. It's natural. It's horrible. Okay. Chris, what are you talking about? I I must have said that out loud. Alright. Oh, there's three of them now. Hey, at least with the ring, I can freeze them in one shot. Would have been a lot worse if I would have had to take six. Total. Alright. Special blue bubble now. Save. It's kind of funny how watching the stream is the most awake you've been all day. It's because it's Delta Room. You're awake for the most important things in your life. Because you want to concentrate on the most important things. And this is Delta Room. And a stream. Yes, I could say the same for myself, probably too. I didn't wake up until like 2:30. <laughs> After science, English, social studies, but not the Glenmore stream. Yeah. When am I going to become a subject in school? When are they going to fix that in school? It's our biggest problem with our school system. <laughs> You've been saying for years. Even before you knew who I was. <laughs> saying that before then because it's just what everyone's thinking
before I first talked to her, I thought that should be a Glen class. Yep. Society knows. How do you expect people to be successful in life without having a Glen class? Don't know, but I'm still aware of his greatness. Well, of course. Is there a reason why all the cars are gone now? Like, all this used to be like sections you had to dodge all the different cars in, and now it's just not there. weather. None of them have winter tires. That's why we keep freezing people. So it's making the air cold or no one has winter tires. So no one can drive. This is the section with the secret area, right? Go oh, down left, yes. I remember this fiasco from two weeks ago. Looking for irresistible deals that will blow your mind? Well, shut your mouth because you are a weakling. Try a little Friday night workout. Then I'll show you my... Then I'll show you my five left. Spammy tea. Is that it for spammy tea? Or do I go back and talk to him again? Get stronger. Then I'll show you my. Then I'll show you my five left. Do I have to kill five people? Is that what he's telling me to do? back once five left is zero left. What? <laughs> once you've killed five monsters. Yes. That's what I was assuming. Alright. Go murder some more people so I can talk to Spammy T. I'm going to refer to him as that one. No more spam to Spammy T. Yes! Another thing to kill. It's my motto. <laughs> spammy T. Oh. Why do they make cats the bad guys? Cats aren't bad guys. I 
Conjure means five monsters with five fights. I'm gonna assume five. Uh, it's probably fights, isn't it? I was thinking monsters originally. We will soon find out. There's no more bad guys here. <laughs> Chris, another puzzle. How should we solve it this time? Proceed. Ow. There's nowhere to go. Chris, there's... The path is blocked, isn't it? I'm assuming it's proceed again, just like the last time where we just... We just use the same option. Chris, what are you doing? Chris, is is everything okay? Proceed. I'm going to continue to assume. Yes. Chris, there's lightning in the way. If you move any further, I'll be I'll be Chris, you didn't really hear what I said earlier, did you? You wouldn't let me proceed. Yes. Proceed. Chris, proceed. Into the lightning! There. Looks like I, I did it. I just listened to Chris's command. And somehow before I knew it, the puzzle was finished. What was I thinking? Chris wasn't trying to hurt me. I, I really wanted the lightning to... Kill. <laughs> Not to hurt her. I'm assuming that this something can happen in the future. But yes, I I would very much like it. <laughs> we got to see the lightning animation. Where is there another fight? I need someone else to kill. Get back here. You enjoy this or I am enjoying it, yes. To get to boss Noel around a bit. I didn't get to do that last time. have gotten bigger. Well, that was six bad guys. I'm going to make my way back and see if that's correct, because I feel like we're going to have to go a lot farther to get three more fights. Come on, spam T. I killed six guys. Be make that enough. Three left. I got. You. All right, it's fights. Here we go. Anyone down here? I can kill. No. Can I fight a car? Can I get a car to fight? Simon said I'm enjoying this route. We're going through the same main areas, but it's nice because all the dialogue is different. It's what really makes the game, is the dialogue. Not really the gameplay. Though I always enjoy an RPG that actually has more skill than just 
you know. <laughs> Regular RPGs I find boring because it's like you're just navigating menus. So I always enjoy fighting styles that like you actually time things or solve puzzles. It's always a bonus. Stuff like this. Makes it feel like I'm actually doing something. But the dialogue is the, uh, the main reason why I enjoy this game. That's really all that matters is this new dialogue. Enjoyable. Like how much of a difference slowing down music can make, can make for the atmosphere. Yeah. I have noticed that it's a lot less upbeat, really. Kind of makes you not really notice it as much, which is, I'm assuming, what they were going for. Another mouse section. It's also, I agree, that's why I love Paper Mario and Mario and Luigi. The battles are so much more fun than a random JRPG. And JRPG 27 Definitive Edition. Yeah. <laughs> that is, uh... Yeah. I play something like Earthbound for the dialogue, but the reason why... I don't classify Earthbound as one of my favorite games, is because I just found the battle system boring. Same with a lot of the uh, Final Fantasy, Dragon Warrior type ones. When I get that you're trying to level up and there's skill in that, but when you're just grinding away for most of the game just to navigate some menus, it doesn't feel like I'm really doing anything. It just feels like I gotta go fight some random guys, so then the menus turn out my way. <laughs> Paper Mario and this game actually feels like I'm doing something. Like, when I lose, it feels like I legitimately lost, not just the menus say my stats is a 27 when the bad guys are 28. Well, I lose. It actually feels like... I am the reason why I am failing. <laughs> because I'm not timing something correctly. Which is a lot more fun. I'll go ahead and do the puzzle. It's a good thing. I'm solving things by myself. Taking new things for myself. Defeating enemies by myself. Pokemon can get away with boring battle system because I'm based on <laughs> like Pokemon. Yeah. I don't know. As I said, I really want to try to get into another Pokemon game. I really do. I, I really enjoy Pokemon Moon. That was, that was one of the big games of my childhood was Pokemon Moon. Picking it up and playing it a ton. That was... I still have a lot of great memories playing Pokemon Moon, but I just... I haven't been able to get into any other Pokemon game. It's just been hard for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why I really enjoy Pokemon Moon and can't get into anything else. Maybe it's just because of my lack of gaming options back when I was younger. <laughs> that I just played what I had and enjoyed them? I don't know. I really want to try another Pokemon game. Let me tell you, Earthbound's battle system is a lot more fun. The Switch Online reward feature. Yeah, it probably is. I don't know. I use... Earthbound is just purely for the story. Rewind. Not, oh yeah, okay. Oh yeah, the rewind features that are in all the emulators now. And 
there's definitely a lot of games that really helped that out, especially in like the NES era, Genesis, Super Nintendo, where they made a lot of games, didn't put save features, or the save features were very far away, where there's only like a couple moments. I can really see the uh, rewind feature being very <laughs> helpful and necessary in a lot of the games I've played. I, there's many moments in Earthbound that I just didn't like because it's just so much grinding. It felt like you progressed the story for like an hour, and then you just ran around battling random guys for like 30 minutes. And it got really boring, but I enjoyed the story, so I kept playing. I feel kind of guilty using the rewind feature sometimes. This will save so much time. Yes. Back then... A lot of games in like the 80s and early 90s, they made short games. They basically just made really short games and just didn't let you save or just made it ridiculously hard, which really ruins a lot of the experience. I can see why a rewind feature would help. Make it more fun. That's just, that's really all that matters if it's more fun or not. Every time I do it, I'm getting stronger. What did I do when they got that ring? I solved that puzzle. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if I can't remember. It doesn't matter if the battles are blurring together. If Chris tells me to do it, I can do things I could never do before. Isn't it a good thing? I'm getting stronger. As long as I just do what they say. As long as I see, as I see. Jeez, I'm reading everything wrong. I'm tired. <laughs> Maybe they're gonna find something wrong with my eyes. I have an eye appointment tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe they're gonna tell me I'm like. <laughs> I'm just. Why can't I think? Half blind. <laughs> how tired I am. <laughs> I couldn't even think of the word blind. Maybe I'm just blind. Maybe I'm gonna come back with this big prescription glasses. Maybe that'll make things better. All finished. This should we find some more enemies? We do need more enemies. I need one more enemy. I found 20 bucks in the garbage. Yes, this thing. I need to fight this thing. Alright. Here we go. There you go, back to spammy tea. Fight the other guy in the room. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do a bonus fight. There we go. The other guy is dead. And I have a CD bagel.
All right, fought the other guy. Now, the spammy team. So happy on a talent delta and actually have fun gameplay and a good story because it would be so hard to replay these games if didn't have fun gameplay. Yeah. That's definitely true. I feel like it's it's just generally really hard to go back to games and just don't have fun gameplay. It's that's why I'm always hesitant to play an RPG. Is because if the story is just a little off at any point, RPG usually means it's going to be really rough and that part's going to suck. But what's nice about Undertale and Delta is that because the gameplay is good and it's solid all the way through, that even if there is points where the story might get a little boring, might get a little dull at random times maybe, Gameplay is still fun, so it still makes for a good experience. Yeah, completely agree with you. Makes it fun to go and try alternate routes and other things. Makes you actually want to do those things. Angel, angel. Let me tell you, my 13 or more pacifist runs in Undertale would not have happened if the gameplay wasn't fun. Wow, that's a lot of runs. You really do like Undertale. I'll do the pacifist run at some point. I told Manta I was gonna play more Mother 3 after this. They could do that after I play Mother 3. Or at least a large portion of Mother 3. Enjoyed Undertale. Fun playing it again. With new dialogue. You looking for the ring of thorns? Am I looking for the ring of thorns? <laughs> I am. I am looking. That'll be 1997. Chromer. Do I have to? Am I? I'm assuming I'm buying this thing now. Because I wouldn't have said yes to the other question. Here's your ring. Careful, it might sting. <laughs> you got the thorn ring. Can I equip this so-called thorn ring? Oh my goodness, that's... Yeah. Basically making Noel the super powerful character. Alright. Cool. How long does it take the community to find this complete alternate route? This is a lot of specific things that you have to do and remember. <laughs> I think between playing other games, you just gotta gradually play through Warm Mother 3. It's like 3. Live streams, yes. Well, Mother 3 is the prime example of an RPG that I'm very hesitant to play. Because I know that there's a good story there. But the gameplay is, it's, the gameplay is just a bit dull. It's a good story, but... Eh. It's a good story, don't get me wrong, but I don't know. I sometimes have trouble understanding the story or f 
fully understanding how I'm supposed to feel at certain parts. Like when I was happy that um, Run Bo Run's mother died. It's probably not the reaction one would normally have. I found this like under a week chapter being released. Wow, that's impressive. It just seems very difficult to try to know, okay, we gotta talk to this guy in the store, we gotta go to Spamton at this point, we gotta answer each one of these things this way. It seems like there would be a lot of trial and error. Oh, hey, Birdly. The Birdman is here. Noel, there you are. Just in time. You can both go back to Queen and... Well... Chris, it looks like another enemy. Noel? Well, it's me. Do any recognize me? Birdly? And I think it's specifically supposed to be harder to do this route. If you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, I could see this taking a good amount of time to actually know what to do at what points. <laughs> Seems very difficult. I mean, I messed up in like the first minute <laughs> of the stream. <laughs> By not freezing the guy, I mean. I gotta know to talk to Spamton, how to answer these things correctly. And the choices are pretty obvious. Yes, that is true. Some of them are obvious. Just a lot of specific times, also. Birdly? Are you okay? What are you doing with Chris? I'm just. We're just. getting stronger. Stronger? Ow. Chris, what are you doing? Am I proceeding? That's my guess. Are we proceeding? Can we proceed? Although that wouldn't really make sense in the context of the game. So probably I'm protecting her from you. Yeah, proceed. Oh, I was right. I, darn, I doubted myself. Yes. This answer that doesn't make sense, but also seems obvious at the same time, is the correct one. But what proceed? Where? Well, what are they talking about? That's it, Chris? I don't know what you're doing. But if you're hurting my friend, Noel, I have no choice but to stop you by force. Chris, ready yourself. Wait, Birdly, stop. Run away. Oh, oh, I'm losing health. What am I supposed to do? Oh, I'm not losing. I just, okay. Just lost 10 points for some reason. Do I continue to defend? Yeah, defend, okay. Looking magic. I got ice shock? That's all I got right now. So defend with both, okay. Oh, oh no. I hate this one, no. Use the new spell when you can. Defend. Snowgrave? Okay. Snowgrave? I don't know that spell. 
Let's do it anyway. I'm telling you, I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm assuming I gotta keep clicking this one. I'm telling you, stop. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm being bossy, so do it anyway. Fine. You wanna see what happens so bad? Watch what happens when I cast a spell I don't know. Do it anyway. Dead bird. I don't know what we're eating tonight. What? What happened? There's so much snow, I couldn't see anything. I... I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to go home. What home? Where are you going? Bye. Save. I'm assuming I'm going up, seeing the pylons are gone now. Frozen Chicken Nugget Man. The Chicken Nugget Man has been frozen and ready to be shipped to McDonald's. Just like how they make it. So I'm gonna go down this open hole. <laughs> it's a manhole. There's a ladder leading inside. Enter it. I'm going to assume. I'm gonna take the wild guess. And say we have to enter the manhole that wasn't there on the first run. We climbed into the manhole. That was quick. <laughs> the end of game. <laughs> Looks like we finally found the fountain. But where the hell is Chris? Chris! Where the hell were you? You were searching everywhere for you. Even Susie was worried. Huh? No, I wasn't. Would you say your opinion of Wells has changed at all? Or would you at least say she has more clear importance in the story? Um, I feel like after I did my first run of Chapter 2, I felt like there was a couple of characters that maybe didn't live up to what they could have been or weren't as good. After my first run, and Noelle was definitely the number one of that. Because she just kind of felt useless. <laughs> and didn't really mean anything. I don't know what the end of this chapter is. But it just seemed... It seems with trying to make her stronger. That there is going to be something that actually happens to the story at the end of this. Last time just felt like she was just awkward and wasn't necessary. I didn't want to say that at the start of chapter 2, because I thought that something might have happened. Something was going to happen in the main story that was going to give a reason why Noelle was just spewing random facts about her past, for whatever reason. Like her mother and sister and childhood, but that never really happened in the first one. But this one seems to be doing a lot more to build Noelle's story, or what happens, so I'm assuming I have a lot more confidence in this run that something legitimately is going to weigh into the story. Like last... The first run that I did, 
I had to make a decision at the end, but it, it felt kind of like it was just kind of thrown in there, kind of. But it feels like Noel actually has a story that is worthwhile reading and makes the text a little bit more exciting, I think, so far. So yes, I would say that so far Noel looks like she's a much more important character than what she was in the first one. But we have to see how this ends to see if there's actually a point to what's happened so far. That will be the first, that will be the true tell. Huh? No, I wasn't. Just, you know, tell us if you're gonna... Hey, Chris, you, uh, okay? You look kinda... Oh, Chris, if you're hurt, Susie can heal you. Yeah, that's right. Healing master now, Chris. I'm even better than Ralsei, so if uh, you hurt yourself or something, then you could try doing a hug like I did earlier. Shut up and let's go already. I made it here a lot faster than before. Huh? Isn't this... Uh, what guy... That guy from before. Why is there a statue of him? It's not a statue, Susie. Huh? You see, each dark found creates a world. It's a different world. <laughs> oh, jeez. A world whose darkness reflects the will of the fountain. But though those darkness can exist in their own worlds. They might not belong if they go to another one. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is carried over from the last one. Mm -hmm. Huh? So if we just bring him back to the castle town, do we uh, have to do that? Um, yes. Whatever. I forgot to bring a drink beside me, and now my voice, my throat is drying up on me now. Usually I have a can of coke that sits beside me that I slowly drink from it, but this time I just kind of just sat here. All right. Assuming we're, I'm going to take a guess. Um, this is the way from to go back. Oh, yeah, I can't even go that anyway, just in general. So, this way to... Oh, no, okay. <laughs> I'm related to what you said. I'm gonna get a drink. I'm gonna do that myself, actually. I'm gonna run over to my mini-fridge. Turned with my drink, then so is Derpo. <laughs> there we go. Just got back from vacation earlier. I was gone for a week and a half. Uh, I have no food at my house whatsoever. I only have about six cans of Coke and three cans of Diet Pepsi in my house. That's all I have. And my parents are out getting me Reese Minis while also going out to eat. <laughs> somewhere. So I will have Reese Minis at some point. Wow, that looks flat to look forward to. <laughs> but what more could you possibly need besides Coke? I mean, who needs food? All you need is Coke. Preferably the drink. All right. Let's try this door. Oh, this looks like spammy tea. 
Whoa, you spicy little sponge, you. Don't barge in. Van is changing forms. Wait, wait. One second. Is that my esteemed customer? Thanks to you and that little... Coochie mama. I am living big. Soon I'll have everyone in this city eating right out of my bat. Yeah. <laughs> I sure hope no one seals the fountain around now. <laughs> I sure hope. I sure hope. Oh. Just oh, spam me tea again. Kid, I'm busy becoming God to play Minecraft or something. It's not my job to be some kid's extra boss. Kid, I'm bi oh, okay. Do I have to leave again? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah, I would say it's for say. <laughs> oh, they're spamptons. The value of that artwork just skyrocketed. I feel like there's something else in here besides that door. Well, can only go through that door. Oh no. Don't want to touch that. <laughs> See, this route is not only awesome because of emotionally manipulating Noel to kill, but also because of Spamton. Oh. Yeah, that. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, that's not good. <laughs> Did not see that coming. Well, I won anyway. I need to stop hitting these things. Oh, jeez, oh, no. <laughs> No, I know. <laughs> I did not touch him. Snap to me is kind of like what portal turrets are to you, if you think about it. You do seem very obsessed with Spamton. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not that obsessed because, you know, building a life-sized Spamton would be very difficult to do. <laughs> it seems like there's a lot of sharp edges involved with that, so I'm glad I got the turret side of the obsession. <laughs> He's a cool guy. He is. He's definitely a great character. A highlight character, for sure. This is 
the wrong way. <laughs> No! Spamptons! No! I bought a ring from you! Don't hurt me! He's almost dead. Maybe I should start fixing that. <laughs> what is the worst outlier? A 50 HP. Then I was thinking about how messed up it is that I got into Undertale in grade 3 because I had no sense of what was considered cringe and wrote for Undertale. Whenever I got the chance, I feel very bad for my grade 3 teacher. I feel like everyone in that grade has like one thing that they're just obsessed with, and then that is just. <laughs> that's just what they have. That's their entire personality is the one thing that they're obsessed with. I can't get in that door. Teacher would have been. Now, what is the Sans Undertale thing I've been hearing about? <laughs> Funny enough, I remember. This would have been a while back. Probably like 2016. Zero doesn't have a grade 3, 4, and 5. I think I'm like 20. Manta pro I don't know if Manta would want me to say this, but I'm gonna say it anyway, because he's not here. Um. <laughs> Manta got very obsessed with Undertale and talked about it constantly. Um. Like, literally, all the time. <laughs> I do remember that. We used to have notebooks. Used to draw it all the time. But <laughs> yeah, I kind of phased out. There was there was like a few months where that was literally all they talked about, but like Yeah. <laughs> I just remember him talking about that and then I asked him if it was on the Wii U and he said no and then I thought, Oh, that's too bad. And then I didn't play it until last year. <laughs> he talked. It's surprising how long I went without actually playing Undertale, considering he talked about it constantly all the time. And I just thought, well, it's not on Wii U, so I can't play. <laughs>
even after I bought like my Switch and I got a Steam account, even after I got all these different ways of playing Undertale, I just had one conversation where it wasn't on Wii U when I only had a Wii U and I just never thought about it playing it again. Dude, I set out a goal to redraw every character in Undertale when I was in grade 3. I'm sure those drawings sucked ass, but I did it. Congratulations. We just had to draw. Uh, we had a very lazy art teacher from grade 5 and 6. And then we got a really bad one, grade 7 and 8, I remember. But our grade uh, 5, I mean, Mantis grade 5 and 6 art teacher literally just gave us a book. And we just drew whatever during art class. It was like the height. <laughs> my schooling was those times. You just drew whatever. I drew a lot of Super Paper Mario characters, I can say that much. Really kind of funny how my interest of Undertale hasn't really gone away. Just learned how to not make it my whole personality. Yeah. It's important to keep things that you like involved all the time. Whatever makes you happy, that is really the only important thing. It sounds like the best. It really was. It was really fun. <laughs> you could listen to music too. You could just listen to whatever. So it was like the height. We only had art class like once a week for like an hour, but it was the best thing ever. <laughs> You just got a book, and you just drew whatever. Occasionally, our teacher would say, Okay, your drawings today need to have some sort of shading in it. Or what have you. That was very rare. It's like half of my favorite memories in school was just talking to other people while drawing and listening to music. <laughs> In grade 5 and 6. And then in grade 7 and 8. I got an art teacher who was absolutely terrible woman. <laughs> She's absolutely terrible. She kicked a guy out of class and sent him to the office because he brought a salad for his snack in the afternoon. Because according to her, a salad isn't a snack. So the kid got kicked out of the class. I had to spend the whole rest of the class, the whole hour, in the principal's office. Because he brought a salad as a snack. It was a terrible one. It made art terrible. I probably have. It's usually whenever my art teacher gets brought up. That's usually what I think of. He took all the fun out of it though. She told us exactly what we had to draw and how we had to do it. And if we didn't do it right, we had to do it again. And she would send us home with homework of what we had to do. So she would tell us we'd have to make a snowman. And we had to have this kind of shading. And she put a picture on the wall. And we had to recreate that picture. And if we didn't do it perfectly, we had to do it again. Over and over again. And it, it wasn't fun. No music. No talking. It's terrible. 
gonna lie, art class this year was the worst. I do realism. I'm sure I was capable of doing it, but yeah, it's boring. Yeah. Art teacher art just kinda gets worse over time. <laughs> really disappointing because art doesn't really have any thing connected to your everyday life. It's supposed to be something fun and relaxing. Have I told you the pencil sharpener art teacher story? I don't think you have. Maybe. Maybe I just forgot. But I don't think so, no. Oh good, another one of these to fail at. I'm really good at these. And I'm almost dead going in, so... That should help. Oh, is this the end? Please tell me this is the end. Hey, it's the end. That one's open now. Probably means I get some health. Yeah, health is back. Oh, we completely skipped this area. <laughs> but now we get to be here. Okay, so in grade 6, I walked into class, asked my art teacher for a pencil sharpener. She didn't respond, so I asked again because I assumed she didn't hear me. She didn't respond again. I asked one more time, and then she snaps. Says something along the lines of, will you stop asking me the question? And then she <laughs> sent me to the hall. Yeah, that sounds like a terrible teacher. It's just... Yeah. This sounds like an angry teacher. So should she just expect you to just go through art class without a pencil? You <laughs> show some acknowledgement, I guess. Hoping I get another text line, but no. Okay. Apparently, I was supposed to sit down before asking questions. So she wanted you to just sit there without a pencil and just wait a while and then get up and ask. That's just, yeah, yeah dumb rule. Especially for something as small as that. It'd be one thing if you had like some big, long, complicated question about like a paper or something that you had to do. But like, it's just a pencil. It doesn't take that long to just say, sure. I would just say, just wait a second. Even if you did have a question about a work that you were doing, it's not enough to be sent to the hall. Jeez. Huh? Hey, it says this is Noel room. Chris, let's go in and save her. And, uh, you know, 
teach her not to get in our way. Chris? Fine, I'll do it myself. Chris? Don't you wonder what you're doing in there? Um, I said, don't you wonder what Manuel and Susie are doing. Also, when I walked back into class, she said something to me, and, and I said all I wanted was a sharpened pencil, admittedly a bit rudely, and she sent me back to the hall. <laughs> yeah. This is, it's an awful teacher. <laughs> There's always going to be some bad teachers, but yeah, that, uh, that's something special right there. Could be a, a whole nother level of uh, meanness and no respect to do, uh, do that. You're right, Chris. Has been 30 seconds. Oh, wait a bit. If <laughs> she's fired now, she should be. Oh, she is. If you're that rude and mean to someone, you really shouldn't have a job. All right, let's go. Huh? What? Wait. What? Wait. Are we supposed to? Hey, let's go. Wait, 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 Susie. What uh happened in there? What do you mean what happened? Um, in there. Oh, well. Nothing. Nothing? Nothing at all? Just told her everything is a dream. She's feeling better. Anything else? Now yeah, let's go. Psst. I'll tell you later, Chris. Hey! Oh well. As long as Susie's happy, right? Taking a hit there. Ah, the final battle with the Queen. The night. The roaring night. Today, it designed to create this world, pushing its long hand to the sky. It cursed its will into the blade, and made, thrusting the fountain from earth. Unfortunately, the world they created is trapped within the confines of the library. If only we had a way to make more darkness. We might be able to cover the whole world. That is when I realized this power, this power of the will, this power of determination. Is this not something that all lightners possess? If one was simply determined enough could not anyone make a dark fountain? So then, if the night has taken its leave, then I will simply make a new one. I 
here I am. Still empty handed in my quest. And while it is in no condition to assist me now, you must rest. And Bird Boy. I searched for him for ages, but. My sensors cannot detect him anywhere. Thoughtful of you to come to help me. This section is a lot shorter than the other one. The regular run. We skipped a couple areas, major areas, and the whole Ferris wheel awkward conversation part, which is much better that we skipped this. Chris, Susie, which one of you wants to be the new knight? Get out of our way. Well needs to wake up. Wake? No, she has already awakened too much. Let her close her eyes and sleep away. Into a darkner. Darkner dream. I wonder if the fight will be the same. Now, which one of you wants to help me cover this world in darkness? Queen, why? Why do you want to unleash the roaring so much? What is that? Um, the roaring? Yeah, that. What is that? If too much darkness is released, titans will emerge from the fountain and destroy everything. All darkness will turn into statues. All lightners will be lost in eternal chaos. My circuits. Are you serious? You really didn't know that. No. Well, my plans are shot. My one idea to help Noel failed. Go ahead, Chris. Still found. I will not stay in your way any longer. I guess we get to know now what would happen if that conversation at the end of the last one would have happened before. <laughs> um, hey. Hey, wait. Don't screw this up. Let's just steal the fountain. You don't have to... I mean... It doesn't have to be goodbye, you know? Error, I have no idea what you're talking about. We have our own dark world. You stay there, you know? Who knows, maybe someday you'll even get to meet Noel again. Really? Uh, maybe. The next section sweet. And oh hell yeah, dot exe. Susie, I knew you were a nice girl. Hey, uh, I'm just... Chris, go steal the fountain. I... I'm gonna go see Noel before you do. Um, Chris, I'll tell Queen about our town. So look forward to being your wacky roommate. Oh, they have vending machines. <laughs> Why not? CD bagel. <laughs> Fountain. It was as if your very soul was glowing. Not. Let me say, oh, it's spammy tea. Let me say thanks. Thanks to your total jackass stunts, I have become Neo. 
And now it's my mansion, my city, my world. So why are you stealing the fountain? Took me over right at the good part? What are you? A game show host? Ah, kid, forget it. I'm an honest man. I'll let you pay your way out of this one. Pay. With your rapidly shrinking life. Here we go. Oh yeah, the shooting. <laughs> Maybe better if I had to run. Big shot is such a good theme. <laughs> You get to listen to it once again! Oh, that's not good. <laughs> yeah, I died! be a bit harder but just Chris it feels like it yes Bampton must be killed. Eighty-five percent. Try not to die. The dumb thing is when you die when you still have health items. Oh, that's not good. That's not good again. That's not good. Part three. Okay. Okay, yeah, here we go. This will make it easier. Can use this. Yeah. That should help. And I die. <laughs> from stupidity once again. But... If you fail... Just... Recontemplate life choices. <laughs> Alright. Got this new attack I can use. A definite win incoming.
damage points up. And try not to take as so many risks with the health, considering how many health things I have. Almost got through that one. Jeez. Jeez, this is... What on earth? Such a cramped space, there's barely any place to move. Clearly I'm gonna need full health by the time we get to that one. harder for myself. This is turning out a whole lot worse. <laughs> I knew right from when I took that first hit in that first section that I was screwed. I wouldn't have made it too far anyway. Get the rhythms down. For some reason, the more I play, the worse I appear to be getting. I missed. <laughs> nice. Miss again! <laughs> Man, 
There we go. Actually using the health items. <laughs> There we go. Finally some success. We got all right, almost halfway through. Great, I feel like I'm just barely keeping myself alive with my health items here. There we go, that one went a little bit better. How about just trying to make progress? Too fast. Too much. But I got past the halfway mark that time at least. <laughs> when you play this farm expansion in the other version, <laughs> the ultimate boss, you have people that come and save you. <laughs> Ralsei and Susie come and save you. I cannot get that here, and it shows in the difficulty. Another important part is probably not to take damage at this part. I already did, nice. <laughs> already took damage. Great. Can't take damage at useless spots. Again, damage in a useless spot, easily avoidable. Those are the ones that sting too.
There we go. That went a lot better. Could use the uh, one that gets us a little bit more TP. X slash is very necessary. Oof, eight. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. That's not good. I don't have anything that completely heals you. There's one hit. These ones have healed a downed ally. Bogging me down here. I have tons of items in my uh, collection. It's not my items. It's not good. I just can barely keep myself alive, which means I can't actually hit them. So it's just a revolving table. These items aren't good enough. Can't use that yet. Worst case scenario is you can't beat them. I can tell you what happens. I guess, but still. I'd like to try to beat him here. It feels like I'm not even getting hits on him. definitely not going to be the one. <laughs> this is definitely not going to be the winning run. I'm killing all my items and not hitting them, so. And I managed to miss all of those. Back to 11 health. Four health. Same thing as before. I got the larger one. I can just buy myself a little bit of time here. Get myself back on track. There we go. I see the vehicles heal more than other items that you have. Your items in storage. Yeah, I have a ton of stuff in storage that I'm going to uh, pull out next. Because a lot of these items are not particularly great. <laughs> It's like heal the downed ally, like <laughs> I don't need that. I don't have any allies. Missed all them.
slash. I'll take a risk on that one. And it did not pay off. <laughs> Switch out some of my items. the right one I'm supposed to put in. I don't think I've ever actually put anything into storage. So I don't actually know how to do that. Uh, uh, Next to storage from the menu, maybe not. Vending machine. I guess I can use that. Yeah, I have eighty. Toss some of these other items. Don't need. I have a ton of money that I can use. Seventy, seventy. can't access my storage, but I can use this. Oh, you can access... <laughs> you can access it from the save point. Oh yeah, we got it. There we go. Let's save all the valuable coins. <laughs> I'm not gonna need Could use this, that might actually. That's yeah, good. Can you access the storage?
Okay. Here we go. This should help. Now I have the max amount of all the items that I can access. Give this a big go. I don't have good feelings about it, <laughs> I have to say. But we must give it a shot. Come on! Jeez, I keep taking stupid hits that don't mean anything. No close hits on that one. Didn't get enough TP to actually get myself that X slash. That's the most important thing. <laughs> actually, the most important thing is not taking stupid hits. <laughs> no, amazing how I missed that one three times. Close he gets. Here's the point where I just barely stay alive. Hmm, five HP. It's amazing how low I can get it without dying. Deserve a medal. <laughs> Problem is, I really want to use my TP just for the X slash, but the health items that I have are just not quite good enough to get me to the point where I can use the TP just for that. Or maybe I just suck. <laughs> That's probably just the best solution to this, is I just suck. <laughs> Jeez, jeez. Well, I'm dead. Three! I got it even lower! <laughs> Can I get it to two next? No, I died. <laughs> Die before I could get that to two. It didn't remember everything that I did, did it? It did not. Buy two CD bagels from here now. Oh, 
Okay, so if you get to the point where you're really low, you need to heal twice, press down on the right analog stick for a free 70 HP before you heal. You can only do this once in the fight, though. Okay. This should help. Let's try it out. <laughs> Hopefully I understand how to do that. Alright. told you about this earlier but I thought you could only do it on the PC because it's an easter egg for Spanton fight. You press F1 to help. Ah. PC has its own special <laughs> easter eggs. Makes sense though. It's on PC first. Undertale. Felt to ruin, wasn't <laughs> That went a little bit better than before. What do you do? It's playing low. You heal twice. Press down on the right analog uh, right analog stick. Okay. I hate this one. This is my worst. Makes sense to use it on that one. Oh, saving the X slashes. Oh, come on. Come on. Yes. <laughs> Didn't take a hit on that one. <laughs>
doing well. Screw it up. Yep. It's doing well. Alright, Grady. Yep, I got Grady. I should try just trying to heal as much as possible and just see what that gets you. I haven't gotten to the extent of... What I can do. Well, it's definitely going to take the whole stream to do this. It's a no bad rats show, I guess. But I really want to beat this. I can feel it. It's not like the other bonus one where I kept dying in the first three. I can feel it. I know I can... I know this is possible. There we go. No useless hits on that one. I we already noticed this, but the attack, the mouth, nose, and eyes predictions really gets easier the more you shoot. Like the mouth, nose, and eyes, yeah. I noticed that at the end of a couple rounds ago. That's the one that's killing me, too. I'm getting better at all of them, except for that one. I'm really doing badly on that one. That's the one that's killing me. I take hits here and there on other ones, but I'm getting better. That and the one where he gets closer with the phone. And it's pretty difficult, yeah. That one is also uh, difficult. Jeez, why do I always miss the first time? I like the ones that just bounce a lot. Of kills. There we go. X slash. Yeah, this one. They're usually back to back too, which is like the real kicker, because this one. You get low on health with this one. And there it comes. Eighteen. Woof. So, the hell down. Press down on the right end of the stick. That's what I did. I'm not supposed to hold it? I don't know. I feel like you might be disappointed by the changes in the ending. So while there are differences, I might feel like it's not enough beating this fight. At this point, beating this fight is enough. It's annoying. Because we're not in like Ninja Gaiden hard here. Where you're basically just impossible. You're in this in-between stage where it's really difficult.
you know it's you know it's possible. You can feel like you can do it. You know, you feel like you're just making a couple stupid decisions, so you want to do it, but it just never turns out. This one's glad I played that one conservatively. <laughs> I was on the edge of the health on that one, that would've killed me. See, I used the other health so I could get up higher, and then I couldn't use the X-Slash there, which is, is very damaging. But the few times you're able to hit, you want to be able to hit as hard as possible. I'm getting hit by everything. Don't be hard. Come on. Darn. Yeah. Thank goodness. <laughs> ah, it's the face! At least the nose is gone, I guess. Wish this one would get a little easier. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's small ones now. Oh, crap. Just keep running lower on these health items. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna play a game. You're anxious, yes. <laughs> I like the break it gives you. Oh, come on. Come on, I don't have an X slash. Oh no, what is this? Not something new. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Crap. Just let me be alive. I'm alive. Nine percent. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Come on. That's the end. Come on. 
Ikea! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. No, if these kill me. No, 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 no. Oh, come on, really? Do I do this, Durfo? I need your help. Durfo, this act, this Valsy thing, do I do this? Yes, okay. Oh, what? No, oh, no. I guess I just keep doing this, okay. I don't want to die. I... Oh, okay. New face. I don't... I don't want to die. <laughs> I've made it this far. Oh, ten. Okay, that wasn't that much. Okay. Act. Okay. Don't want to die. Just get me through the text. Still, I don't want to die. Is that it? Is he dead? Is that it? Come on. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, it's done. <laughs> Boom. Huh? Birdly's alarm. Dream. It was really just the. Uh... Susie? Susie, what are you doing here? I have done it. I have beat the Spamton. Spammy T is dead. I really didn't think I could do it. Yeah. Huh, you invited us to study, remember? Oh, right, I did. Didn't I? <laughs> uh, you're in a good mood. Do you uh, have a good dream? It was a nightmare. Oh. I'm just happy I woke up. The end was nice, though. Never been happier with the spammy tea to be dead. Me neither. What happened? Ah, uh, well, uh, 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 hey, Birdly, time to get up and go. It's Birdly. Oh, yeah, Birdly's dead, right. Gosh, I've been studying too much, Birdly. Honestly, you deserve a little rest, you know? Two dreams. What are you doing? You don't have a tail, do you, Susie? Huh? No way. Of course not. Really? That's great. That was weird, Chris. So I guess... Part, yeah. The part where Susie goes and you don't see what happens, I'm assuming, is that whole Ferris wheel scene. And the other one. Somehow it doesn't feel like we just saved the world. Chris, hey, wait a sec, Chris! 
We, we actually saved the world, didn't we? Darn, we really are heroes. No one even knows. I wonder <laughs> if he's actually dead or if he's just asleep. Well, we killed him in the game. In the first run through, we don't kill Birdly, but we kill Birdly in the alternate route. Maybe he's dead. <laughs> I wonder if Chapter 3 comes out. It'll, di it'll differ depending on which save file you go off of. Like, you have two different save files alternate route and the regular route, which have small differences. Uh, no, yeah, bigger differences. <laughs> in them. Which wonder if that will impact chapter three. Depending on which one you continue from. The alternate route or the main one. Very curious to see what happens with the alternate route in chapter three. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of differences between the two. It seems like that would uh, have to bite off a lot to uh, make two big separate um, games, basically. <laughs> a lot of similarities, sure, but I wonder if the other chapters will have alternate routes. I don't know. Like, if you're going to have chapter three, you're going to have one storyline for the alternate route and one for the regular route. If you have more alternate routes, how long is that going to take? Maybe. Maybe they could do that. They put a lot of work into it. <laughs> It'll be interesting for sure. I'm just gonna leave the screen like this. See if he's strangling Chris. <laughs> Guess it's better that way though, right? People would freak out. They knew the world was in danger. Though it kinda sucks, no one has to forget too. Whatever, let's get out of here. Birdly. Birdly, you dead? Poor Birdly. Before you left, you gathered up everything in the room. Man, got late, didn't it? I, I'm assuming this is the same text as the end of the other one. Guess you should go home, huh? Alright, you don't have to say it. Also, go to the hospital for a bit for an alternate route dialogue. Yeah, I already know what happens in the hospital. The hospital is that ghost. <laughs> because we've been there before. You wanna walk home by yourself, huh? Well, if you're gonna make me, I guess. Now, that's the police station. This? I thought that was the hospital. Oh, it wasn't. Oh, Chris, you gonna play the piano? Let's oh, play. <laughs> I almost thought you were serious for a sec. What's with that pissed off look? <laughs> Here to make an appointment? Nah, just to hang out. I see. She's resting her voice. So we're Drake, huh? That's a new one. Although, what's the plan, honey? Maybe we could try Ice Shock. Ice on Ice Palace boss? Then you want to try Fire Shock or something? Huh? Yeah, you're right. Here, how about letting me control for a bit? No. Control it myself. Not like you're to be a controlling hog, honey. You feeling alright? Huh? Me? Of course. I'm fine, Dad. I just... I fell asleep in the library and, you know, had a weird dream. Oh well. I knew that bird brain <laughs> put you to sleep. What'd he do? Start lecturing you on his theories? 
of the Excuse me of children's fighter games. Uh no, no, he He fell asleep too. Wow. He put himself to sleep. Uh yeah, I guess so. Well, sounds like you two have been hitting off hitting the books too hard. Why don't you go home? I have Renate. I'm with you tomorrow at church. Dad, are you gonna be okay to go? Of course. Take it easy, honey. Okay, then. Yeah, I'll go home and rest. See you tomorrow, honey. Bye, Dad. Love you. Chris! Chris, what are you doing here? Hell if I know. Susie? Oh, this is Susie. You just barge in <laughs> randomly in the hospital. You're just like walking in on people recovering in the hospital. <laughs> That's what we do in our off time. Susie, nice. Heard a lot about you. You, uh, have? Cool. Think I have to go now. Susie, huh? Yeah. Hey, finger on her and I'll kick your ass. Huh? <laughs> Just kidding. Well, kinda kidding. Interesting. Hey, Susie, mind if I have a word with you for a sec? Uh, guess I'll be a sec, Chris. Come on, it... Just a bad dream. It's so... It's so real, I... Can't get it out of my mind. That voice telling me to do what to do. Voice unlike Chris's. Terrifying voice. Chris? Recently, there's been something different. Yeah. Why hasn't anyone else noticed it? I have to figure it out. Why Chris is acting so strange? Continue, keep coming to the hospital. Is there one I have to answer here, or does it really matter? <laughs> Feels a little bit late. They don't think the choice matters here. Okay. Which one did I pick? <laughs> I don't even know which one I picked. Huh? Chris, how long have you been standing there? Phew, you. <laughs> you really scared me. You no. Know? Keep it together, Noel. There's nothing to be afraid of. After all, dream is just a dream, right? Then. Then why. His voice. Just now, sound so terrifying. Eh, I'm curious. Hey, Chris, let's beat it already. Man, you kept telling me about Noelle, like her favorite things, places she'd like to go. No idea what the hell that was about. So, uh, how are you two doing? Oh, uh, uh, nothing, seriously. I was just about to go home. Uh, see you. Uh, she's afraid of me again, huh? Take a guess what part of the hospital was exclusive to the alternate route. I feel like the obvious pick would be the left one. But considering you're bringing that up, I'm gonna guess the right one? <laughs> With the weird blue person? I didn't even go in the hospital last time. I didn't even notice it was there. One would assume the left side, though. Why would you be able to talk to her father? It would be nice. 
Actually, everything that happened was real, huh, Chris? I try to be a little bit more enthusiastic. Still can't talk to that blue person. <laughs> Alright. Now in the normal route, you can always see Noel's dad. In the alternate. Noel talks about the dream. Yeah. I can see that kind of makes sense. In the regular route, Noel doesn't really do anything major to really impact what happens. Should we go check out Lancer? Back to the school closet, right? Oh yes, Lancer. I completely forgot about the first half of the game. She also doesn't try to use Ice Shock on the boss. The game is playing unless if you do the alternate route. Oh, I see. Is this is your castle town, it's... It isn't. Population density is so wonderfully low. Rich things will love this. I'll just watch things anyhow. The task manager. Or even regular task. I still killed everyone. Even in the alternate route, I find a way to kill everyone. <laughs> Yay me! Well, I guess I'll go to my room. <laughs> Chris, I bet you have a lot of people to talk to. You don't have to talk... You don't have to do everything at once. Save and take a break anytime you want, okay? I've already explored this in the other half, so I think that I will leave. I'm really curious. There's an alternate route in the future chapters. You think it be about forcing other characters to kill, or just keep forcing Noelle to kill and keep making her more terrified of Chris. I think for the alternate route one, it'll focus a lot on Noelle, I feel like, being terrified of Chris. I don't think it'll be necessarily other characters. I think it'll be a lot more about Noelle just trying to learn how to attack and then probably progressively getting more scared of Chris until some big event happens, most likely. I would say that, that that's probably the obvious route if they actually do that. I, I don't know. <laughs> they, uh. Must have something interesting. And new characters, too. They could very well add a new character that could impact that. I was surprised with the amount of new characters that were in Chapter 2 compared to Chapter 1. Well, Noelle certainly has... Is certainly more interesting in the alternate route than in the regular one. Most of the case, Noelle's dad is going to die in a future chapter. Yeah, usually when there's like a parent side character that's in the hospital, it doesn't usually pan out very well for that character. <laughs> uh, I feel like that could be something that could add to like Noelle like breaking down. Or like a personality switch. Like right now she's like 
pushing her way towards killing more people and it being a lot more aggressive fighting. I feel like you could have like a tragic event also back that up too, like Noelle's dad die, something like that, I don't know. But that could certainly add a lot to character development. And Noelle's dad has no bearing on the story otherwise. So keeping Noelle's dad alive doesn't really do anything for the story. I think I'm just going to skip through this text. I already read through all of this once in the previous stream. Can you hear me out? What if Noelle's dead only dies in the alternate route? I could very well see that happening. Noelle, Noelle doesn't piss me off as much in the alternate route, I have to say. <laughs> um... <laughs> Noelle actually feels very warranted with her dialogue and a lot more interesting in the alternate route. Like, in the regular route, Noelle is still pretty innocent and awkward. Nothing really changes too much. I think killing Noelle's dad would just make for like a weird sappy sad moment. So, I could very well see that happening. Noelle's dad is probably dead in at least one. One of the two. <laughs> very well could easily be both. Noelle doesn't piss me off when manipulating her to kill. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> it's just... In the regular route, Noelle... is a side character. So it's fine if she's one-dimensional in the regular route, but she gets so much dialogue in the regular route, a lot more than many of the other side characters, and it never really means anything. <laughs> I don't know. I could, I could stream all about just little gripes and positives. There are a lot of things that I really like, and then there's a couple of little things that I, I find a little annoying, I guess. But it's mostly all pretty great. I enjoy it. I enjoyed this game. Can't wait for the next chapter. I believe I heard chapter. I believe you told me chapter 3 was coming out this year. I could be wrong. No, oh, won't be released this year. Okay, yeah. No, wait, that article's from 2022. Early to mid-2023. This That article is 20 days older. So, yeah, it's supposed to release this year. Chapters 3, 4, and 5. Wow, we're really speeding that up <laughs> from the pace. I do think the alternate route wouldn't be as impactful if Noel wasn't a bit more shy and awkward than the normal route. It wasn't going to well be. Yeah. I feel like there's actual development somewhat. I think all of the characters have development, but in the regular route for Noel, it, it's like nothing really happens. <laughs> I don't know. Noelle's dead, I would say Noel is warranted in this chapter, though.
Hopefully at some point. Probably not after chapter 5. Probably when all of the chapters are already out, they do a physical copy. I'll be there, though. <laughs> when that physical copy gets announced, I'll be there. First thing, what makes Nemo interesting to me in the normal route the general mystery around deaths and the rest of her family members. They play a big role in the story. I hope so, too, honestly. I had to get my way through all of that text about her backstory, and it led to literally nothing. <laughs> Which is kind of annoying, in my opinion, because that was a lot of text, and they just assumed we would just piece together who those people were. I hope there's some sort of impact. <laughs> I mean, nice coming chapters. I can easily see the cult following behind this game and Undertale. There's so much different text and roots and secrets. And you can tell a person that legitimately actually likes RPGs and story games made for this game. You can easily tell. A team of people who legitimately like RPGs made this game. In a lot of other games, it just feels... A lot of other RPGs. It feels a lot more manufactured. Like, people who are creating it, they care about the story, but they're not actually, like, gamers, per se. And you can easily tell. It's easy to see. I think as long as your backstory leads to something, or being there in the normal route, it's warranted. That's the big thing. Like, it ends on chapter 2. Like, I just wish that there was something. Just... Something where all of that text we went through with Noel led to literally anything <laughs> in the second chapter of significance. It's just a little annoying when you go through all that text, you read it all out. And then it, it just doesn't lead to anything in chapter 2, especially when the next chapter doesn't come out for months. So now you're going to give me all of that text, and then you're going to say, okay, that, that didn't mean anything in this chapter. And now I gotta keep that in my head until the next chapter releases months from now. <laughs> like, it's it's easily forgettable for me because it didn't lead to anything. I don't know. Just hopefully, it, it means something. <laughs> Definitely the big cliffhanger. The alternate route, though, is Burley and Noel talking about the dream. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, the the alternate route leaves a lot more exciting things for Chapter Three. The regular route is like, oh well, uh, maybe Noel's story might have something, this that, but like, there's a lot of big questions at the end of the alternate route. have also been theorizing Terrell to be a party man with chapter 3 because Chris makes Dark Fountain in their house. Yeah. I could see them happening. There's not many characters really left that haven't been to the Dark World now. Like main characters that haven't actually been. Should be an, an obvious choice 
for a new person in the dark world. She hasn't played a huge role, but a role at least around the first two chapters. Yeah, I could say that. I don't think it would be a huge role, though. Honestly. I can't see her becoming, like, a main character. <laughs> but I could see that it plotting in somewhere. <laughs> what do I know? There's a lot more people that know a lot more than me. <laughs> and then Pia also theorized that Undyne... Neps... Neps... The Blook? <laughs> Between the Dark World Chapter 3, Kistura calls the police at the end Chapter 2. Yeah. It's true, it does leave off on a little bit of a thing. Or can pick right up again. Chapter 3. Yeah, I mean, I think Tyrell in Chapter 3 could be very interesting because how similar she looks to Ralsei, and seeing Ralsei reacts to that. Yeah. yeah, that could be interesting. Also, a good couple lines, I think. Good dialogue. Yeah. I'm ex the first chapter had Lancer as the funny, comedic, interesting side character. This one had Spamton. And I'm interesting to see what follows. Because they always like to seem to have just a, a character from the dark world that's interesting. I'm always a sucker for funny characters like Birdly and Lancer. Disappointed with the lack of Lancer dialogue in this one. Obviously the best part of chapter 3 would be another deranged secret boss character. Yeah. Can look forward to that. I think the Queen more filled the role of Lancer a lot more than Spamton did. Yeah. Queen has picked up a lot more of the comedic roles. Just not as well, in my opinion, <laughs> as Lancer. It's some good dialogue. Lancer felt more an actual part of your adventure, whereas the Queen just kind of felt like a just the person you were getting your way to to the end to try to kill. Lancer felt on and off with the teammate. Which made it a little bit more interesting. But he's also really funny. Mainly because of other characters <laughs> making fun of him. Yeah, it's kind of what I think a lot of uh, Ralsei from the first chapter. A lot of the jokes Susie and Lancer made about Ralsei. I am excited for the third chapter. Once it comes out. It's weird that... At least the most recent update that I could find on Google over the first couple articles. Say, early to mid-2023. It's May. 
Uh, June and July is mid. So it's kind of weird there isn't like any updates. Or maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. I haven't put that much effort into it. This feels like there should be more talk or teaser or something. If there was going to be a third chapter, I was thinking. Generally, pretty secretive. Let me. Oh, so he doesn't really release teasers or trailers, really? Do you do that for chapter two? I don't know. <laughs> Seems kind of odd. The one thing is, like, yeah, it's coming early, mid next year. Now here we are, just about to enter mid this year. Give a few teasers during the spam and sweepstakes. Wait, did he make that? Was that him? I thought that was just some rando on YouTube put that together. Is that actually tied to him? It's not... F oh, I thought it was just some guy put that together. <laughs> it's official. Oh. Seems like a different ending. It's on the website. Wow. Surprise, I thought there was just some person put that together. Oh no, it's the same, man. Oh yeah, this. This soundtrack we get to end on. <laughs> we have done it. Spampton was killed. An hour and ten minutes passed. What I said the stream was gonna be. I thought there'd be enough time for bad rats. <laughs> Let me tell you about that chapter two. There's getting some people, fan gamer, to play through chapter one of Delta Room, the sixth anniversary of Undertale. And then right at the end of the stream, it showed the option <laughs> to continue chapter two. And then it released a few days later. Okay. That's neat and all, but I feel like that's bad marketing. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe maybe it gets people all excited all at once, and then it gets people to just jump right in. Not without thinking. I don't know. Yeah shouldn't be too long then you think if he was gonna delay it again he would have said something but it's, uh, it just showed it right there that he wouldn't really say anything would he I was very excited because I was watching that stream and predicted that would happen and it did you can imagine that would be really exciting considering you don't really get much content Beforehand, I could see that being very exciting. Kind of like a Nintendo Direct. Well, hopefully, Chapter 3 comes out sooner rather than later. Continue on before I forget all of the plot lines and the characters. <laughs> and we'll forget the characters. I might forget some of the plot lines, though. <laughs> Well, there we go. Maybe next time I'll break out the bad rats. 
the next stream. Damn it. Thank you for joining me on the stream. And hope everybody has a good evening. Alright, bye.